给。Good morning, everybody. Um, it's, yeah, another day here. So I'm not sure what we're doing today. Megan and I have some work stuff planned. Um, the kids are kind of doing their thing as far as school stuff goes and other things. So if you're wondering how our days sort of work, um, in the mornings we typically are, the kids are doing their school stuff. And while the kids do that, Megan is usually helping them with that, and I'm doing... Um, work related or other administrative type duties and um, so we work on that in the mornings and then the afternoons are typically more open for either activities uh, running errands or taking care of other things so our mornings are typically pretty quiet so that's kind of how we do our days on a regular day obviously when we're on the road or that sort of thing that all kind of goes at the window but that's what we're doing today all right, checking in. Um, it's now 2.45 in the afternoon. I have still been pretty much sitting at this desk. Um, the morning kind of administrative duties morphed into uh, some calls we had to do this afternoon. Megan's actually out with Elijah helping him get some new clothes. She might have recorded that, I'm not sure. Okay, Megan got home from what she was doing finished up our oh my had, gosh i'll tell you what i was we doing we finished up our second call i was taking elijah shopping oh right and i now know why my mom was always in a bad mood when she was shopping with me because it's like first of all you're like really you're like you're like how about these they're like no and you're like okay well how about these like no and so you're like okay um i don't really see the difference but and then what they do like you're like oh really like okay <laughs> those look really dorky to me and so then you're like i guess i'm old so well you are That's yeah true. and so that it's like you're confronted with like i don't get it i don't get the i don't get it i don't get why you'd want to wear those that's like the ugliest thing I saw in this section of the store is what you wanted. <laughs> and now I feel old. <laughs> classic. It is classic. Okay. So now we're, we're at the store because we've got to get something for dinner. Um, this is how our days go sometimes. I don't, right? yeah, I can't think of anything. It's hot. Hot days are hard to Here, look at this. I got this um, country liver mush. Oh my gosh. I've been actually craving some liver mush. Anyone out there had that? I don't know. Yeah, beans, beans and rice. rice. Sweet, that was easy. At home, I've got a we've got a big bag of beans and a big bag of rice, and that means all you really need are some onions and a few other little some spices, and you can make some good beans and rice. You know what you we should even, do? What? You should put your beans and rice recipe on the website for them. Oh, okay. We're gonna start. We're gonna add recipes to our website. So go to our website, check out the beans and rice recipe because it's simple, easy, and everybody in our family likes it. So just keep the Beano handy, folks. You're gonna need that. Mission accomplished at the store. We got dinner plus some stuff, believe it or not. Well, I thought it was funny that you were like, great, well, we only do this one thing for dinner. And then we like- I know, we filled the cart because yeah. we actually need like 20 things. Always. Well, we need like 300 things, but we only got 20 of them, so. Because we like coming back to the store. I know, it's fun. Day. So we're gonna, Actually, we're gonna meet Elijah. We're gonna meet Elijah. He's gotta get gas. This is we now that we have a student driver or a teen driver. He's always asking us for gas money. Well, because that's our arrangement. That's our agreement. He picks up people and takes them places when we need him to, and we pay for gas. Yeah, so he's meeting us here at the gas station to get him filled up. Here he is, looking for his handout. Not really though. Yep. Okay, he's gonna go fill up. Do I keep this? I'm just finished. You want to keep that? Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right, I got my uh, onions and ham hocks are sauteing. That's the first step in this process of the the, uh, the beans. And then Esther, what do you got going on, Esther? I just finished filming a hair tutorial. She, oh, you filmed a hair tutorial, okay. She created her favorite Sweet. hairstyle. Mm -hmm. And I told her I think it looks like Game of Thrones. Even though we've yeah, never was... seen Game of Thrones, you would assume <laughs> that would be on there. I've seen pictures of like Game of Thrones hairstyles. And I really like that kind of hairstyle. Oh. 
Um, I guess you could call it Celtic, or you could call it. Yeah, because it's got like it's got like a bunch of. This is very Celtic, right? Because of the, the Celtic yeah. rope or chain or whatever they call it mm -hmm. that Pearl always draws. There's it's a name pretty. for it. Yet another little activity that's happening today. I do want to walk out here real quick. I don't know if we've showed everybody. So our view is, well, it's not as, you can't see as far as you used, we used to be able to, but it's beautiful back here. See that? There's green everywhere. It's awesome. I hear a bee. What, Jude? I hear a bee. You hear a bee? Mm -hmm. I don't hear a bee. Yeah, I did. I bet your bees are starting to be out now that it's warm. Yeah, they are. Jude, what have you been doing? What, playing on Today. a trampoline? Playing on a trampoline? Yeah? With Paul Wolf. What else? Uh, we, um... I was... I don't know. You're not sure? Just playing mostly? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go! Yeah, you So she still got 39 minutes to go. I put it in there. I put all the beans in there for 45 minutes hey, on high pressure. Hey. So. Yes, Eve. Yeah. What? You. Yep. The rice is all done. Dad, yeah. Okay. Good. And yeah. You got the spoon. Yeah. All right. Okay. What's happening? Classic. Oh. Just found this what? in the fridge. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so thank you for putting this empty container of raspberry. The one time they put something away, it's an empty container. One of the one of the things that we do around here to keep things organized is we have we have this chore chart, which the dishes is one of those things that's included in the chore chart. So I have seven. Asher is in charge of the dishes tonight, so he's setting the table. He's emptying the dishwasher, and then when we're all done, obviously he'll clean up. So the kids all rotate through breakfast, lunch, and dinner dishes since we homeschool. They're pretty much all here during the day. Um, so just one way we try to keep things somewhat organized around here. Somewhat. All right, the beans are almost done. Or actually they're done now. There's just the pressure's coming off the pressure cooker. But So I wanna show you guys something that I'm super excited about that I've had now for about a month and a half. Um, it's called Bed Jet. Look at this. Let's go down here. It's right. Down here, do you see that? Oh man, you can't really see it. It's that thing. Am I showing it? Let me pull this back. See that? That's my bed jet. It's, uh, I saw an advertisement on Facebook for a while back. I got super excited about it. Um, and then I was like talking to people. I wanted to get one, but I didn't. And because we were moving and all that kind of stuff. And then we got here and I decided I would just actually reach out to the bed jet people and said, hey, you want to send me one of these and I'll have a look at it and then we can put it on the YouTube channel. And so they did. Um, and it's been super awesome. Um, we actually got two of them. So look, there's one on Megan's side here. Move that out of the way. See that? There's one right there. But if you haven't heard about these, it's a system where you can either cool or heat um, your bed with it. It does this kind of, uh, it's, it's like a forced air sort of thing that it pumps air up under your covers. Um, and we have a special sheet that it kind of has two compartments. So there's one side that's my side and one side that's Megan's side. And we each have our own uh, bed jet. Oh, there goes my phone. And um, we can kind of control the temperature of our bed, which is sweet because usually Megan is cold and I'm hot and that was a problem, but now we can kind of control it on each side. And so we love it. Um, you can do it any configuration. You can do it where you get a sheet and it controls the whole thing. So you can just do one temperature for the whole bed. 
Um, or if you have a yeah, if you have a king size bed or queen size, you can do you know separate sides with separate bed jets and separate temperatures. Um, and so I've loved it. It's been great to be able to control that. And Megan's loved it because <clears throat> you know this new house doesn't actually have a um, a bathtub, and so Megan gets cold and she has a hard time getting warm even in the summertime actually. And so she said, if I turn this bed jet on at full force on the high heat. It like warms me up uh, just like a bathtub does so she loves it and so I want to share that with you guys uh, highly recommend it I've got a link down below if you want to go check it out or get one yourself again lots of different configurations with the bed jet but <clears throat> I've loved it and uh, been a great been a great addition to the house so check that out all right here we go that smells like animal reaction Woo. Me, me. journal entry that's three years from now and you write it like you are the person you are in three years and you write about like what you're doing and like what you're loving and what's exciting and what you're grateful for like it's already happened and it's so the journal entry would be you know May 2022 so tonight we'll all write a journal entry of ourselves in 2000, May 2022. It's an exercise to kind of see like where you would like to be in three years and then to like set goals. All right, Esther's doing her chore, which is the family room. Asher has got the kitchen, doing the dishes. Andrew has the laundry room, hallway, and actually that bathroom, but someone's in it. <clears throat> Peter, what's your, Peter, what's your chore? Game room and entry, yeah. Okay. And then Elijah or Pearl is actually up there doing the... Pearl is doing the upstairs landing and the stairs. So, pretty much every night, everyone goes through and cleans up some section of the house. So that's how we do it. Works pretty well. Most of the time. 
All right, end of the night. We're having some cake that's left over from yesterday. Walking out to um, Greatest Showman. Jude's right now. Climb on rocks. Okay, write that down. You like to jump on the trampoline? I still like to. All right, we're done. So, yep. We uh, ended the day doing our little uh, journal entries from the future with the kids. Megan really took all of her time helping kids do theirs. Oh, yeah, I haven't read nice. mine yet. <laughs> I did mine and then helped kids do theirs, so you can see where Megan's priorities are compared to mine. No. But um, I, you were just telling me was, about some of the ones you did. I know, it was fun to read some of them. So, like, um, everybody's is different, though we now will have to eventually get Peter a gray, large gray cat that's a female. Cause that's because he's going to have a large gray cat named Misty. What he's going to have in three girl. years. And she also needs to be loving because she would like to sit in his lap and purr. Okay. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to get a cat. <laughs> he also says that we live in a new house with a swimming pool that backs up to the woods and that is not too far from his friend's house. <laughs> wow, okay. And Peter, the, the kids Asher are going to bed, that, but they're not really going to bed. Asher said in his that he's really proud of Peter because his singing voice is even better in his letter. <laughs> really? I, didn't, yeah, didn't I read his, but I didn't re remember cute. seeing that. Um, Pearl said that she's going to have a jewelry business and she has $5,000 in the bank. Oh. So this business is doing well. Sweet. Guys, go to bed. Okay, good night. Okay. Um, so yeah, what did anything in yours that was interesting that you want to share? Or? In my own, or mm -hmm. in the ones I read, mm -hmm. or did? No, I don't You're think like, so. Like Megan has a six pack. <laughs> six pack of coke, Keep man. On I'll take that. That's right. <laughs> um, we have an audience right now. They're supposed to be Children. going to bed. They're all supposed to be going to bed. 
This is a problem when you have your fam room right down from your kid's bedroom. They just stand up there and they watch you or talk to you while you sit out here when they're supposed to be going to bed. So it is a good little insight into your child's psyche to have them do that because you get an idea of what they really kind of hope for yeah, in Pearl the future. Yeah, Pearl also said that her cursive is really good now. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know she was working on her cursive. And she can play all sorts of songs on the flute, I think is what she said. <laughs> it's cute. But And then I told them, you take that, that letter that you wrote and pull out the things that you wanted, find pictures of them, and you make a dream board from that and put that on your wall. There you go. Because sometimes it's hard to make a dream board just like where you're like, oh, what should I put on there? But if you do an exercise like this, if you do an activity like this, then it's pretty easy to go, oh, well, if that's what I want to have happen in the next three years. I should probably put on my dream board. That's true. Okay, so that was, that was nice. It was, it was nice. It was a nice way to end the day. end the evening. We had actually, it was a very nice late afternoon slash evening. It was kind of busy and hectic before then, but well, yeah, and we were able to slow down a little bit. I felt like tonight at dinner was one of those moments where you're like, I don't know if you felt it, but like, this is not going to happen a lot. Like, this was like a special dinner when everybody was there, and it wasn't just like eat and go on to the next activity. Like, everybody was at the table, everybody was talking to each other, laughing, and um, nobody was at work, you know, that sort of thing. And everybody lingered at dinner, and then we had cake, and we danced, and we sang, and it was just one of those magical nights that happens every once in a while. It was great. Yeah. I'm not saying we, we have family dinner every night, but like, you know... Sometimes everybody's just like anxious to get on to another activity or they've got to go to work or they are at work. And so it was just, everybody was fully present. I felt like from dinner all the way to bedtime tonight. And it was yeah, pretty good. It was really nice. It's hard to have that with teenagers. It was really nice. So pretty good day. It ended up being a good day. Well, it didn't start off as a bad day. No, it was just, it was just sort of humdrum before. That's true. All right. So I think that's it. So you guys... Go write a letter to yourself from the mm. future. And remember to include lots of feelings like, I'm so grateful that, or I am excited that now this is happening, or mm. those sorts of things, and then make a dream board. Yeah. Very effective. Very Really focuses you, and I think helps get things in motion for yourself. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, friends. Right? Yeah, friends. And uh, go to northernsouth.com. We did put the recipe for the... Dad's beans and rice. Beans and rice on there, and we're going to keep adding to that. So we want to make the website more of a resource um, for, for all you to benefit from. So check that out. And that's it. So we will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.